Coming up in this FinCast, a rash you've never seen before, because this is the first one in the United States. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. I'm at Carolina Aquatics again today, and man, have I got a treat for you in the aquarium just over here behind my shoulder is something called a monsoon wrasse. And Chris Klein, who owns Carolina Aquatics, is the very first wholesaler in the United States, and he has the exclusive to get this fish. And today, in this FinCast, we're going to show you the monsoon wrasse, tell you where it comes from, and tell you how you can get it, and also how expensive it'll be. And trust me, it's a lot, but it's really rare, it's really pretty, and a lot of people are going to think it's worth it. This is a monsoon fairy wrasse is the common name. It's Cyrilobris hydrocerus is the scientific name. Uh, just recently described, um, it is a super awesome fairy wrasse, reef safe, um, very colorful, unique. Um, first time it's been here in the U.S. We're super excited to have it available. So Chris, these came in in really good health, eating almost immediately. Tell me about that. Well, they came in and probably six hours after they were in we tried to feed them uh, we tossed some some of the, the coral frenzy in there and it took a minute they looked at it they didn't know exactly what it was one of them hit it and ate it the rest of them started following suit so being that they're you know coming off of roughly a 60 hour trip that's amazing that, that they ate that fast what's amazing is that there's still fish out there in the oceans that haven't been discovered never seen before by man and that was probably the case with this one and it one of the reasons is because it's a long ways away from shore and it's just not easy for anyone to get to there's no particular reason for anybody to be out there scuba diving or anything and Chris says he believes that these guys were probably looking for coral or something else having to do with the aquarium hobby and came across this fish uh, this is coming out of the Timor Sea it's north of Darwin in the Northern Territory of Australia so it's a very, very remote area. There's, a, it's a long way away from land. Um, you know, it's really, really hard to get to for these guys. But they were able to. They, they discovered it one day collecting corals, I guess, and then and brought it back. And it happened to be a whole new species of wrasse. So. And this fish will probably be rare for quite some time because you can only collect it during certain times of the year. Once the rainy season hits, the weather is just too bad and the location where this fish is found is too far away from anything for anyone to risk going there except during the dry season. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a extremely long trip. Um, you know, weather has a major uh, effect on, on this thing. So you get caught out in a storm, there's nobody to rescue you you're not you know it's not like it's right off the coast here you don't have the coast guard to come get you to describe its behavior in the aquarium uh, for people who might want may, might be interested in putting this in their tank uh, it's definitely a community fish um, they, they typically are found with a lot of females and a few males so we typically recommend doing one female or one male for two or three females roughly and uh, they're they're gentle they're not really gonna mess with anything you might have a little bit of nipping between other wrasses and whatnot but it is a fairy wrasse reef safe very gentle, really pretty, awesome fish. We don't exactly know how big it's going to get, but these are fairly close to adult size, right? I believe so. With similar species um, that are out there, I believe these males are probably about full grown, maybe just a hair bigger in captivity. Um, but you know, being that this is a good mix of what we got in, they sent a, a large assortment. Um, so I, I think they're pretty much full grown on the males. Uh, because it's so rare, would you suggest that people just take it and put it in a community tank or do you think people should do a species only tank? I, you know, I think it depends on the, the end user. Um, me personally, I'd love to have it in a beautiful reef tank with a, a lot of other nice simple fish. I'm sure there's people that would want to have it in a, just a species tank just to see what it does. Um, I, you know, to each his own I guess as far as that goes. Sometimes wrasses jump. Uh, do you think that would be a problem with these? Yeah, any, any wrasse, any fish can jump. Uh, these guys will probably jump. We do have the water level down, uh, you know, a few inches to help prevent that, but definitely recommend a lid on the tank with these guys, especially they're gonna be, you know, relatively expensive. So um, I, I would definitely have a, a, some sort of lid on it. Have you figured out what these might retail for, for say a trio? Um, retail, it's hard to say. Um, I think it's gonna depend on, 
on how they're released at Macna and, and what what people get. But I mean, in the the couple to three thousand dollar range, probably um, for a, a brand new fish that there's only a couple in the U.S. You know, I, I think that's actually relatively reasonable. This tank right here, this is all the monsoon wrasses there are in the United States right now. Yeah, this is the the U.S. supply right now. Um, we have the exclusive with uh, Monsoon Aquatics as a wholesaler or the uh, exporter, I should say. Um, they're the ones that discovered it. They're the ones that are releasing it. They're the only ones that have it. So we've been given the U.S. as far as to uh, the exclusive to release it to the U.S. And um, we're super excited. We've been working with, with Monsoon for about a year on this fish, um, on how to roll it out, how to, how to make it uh, affordable and get it out to the hobby so that everybody can enjoy it. Well, it's an awesome fish, and the, the, the males, when they flash, are just amazing, and I think it's going to be a really popular fish, don't you? Oh, I hope so. It's, I mean, me being a fish nerd, I've seen a lot of stuff come through here. I've been, I've had Carolina Aquatics for 11 years now, and I've seen a lot of stuff come through. This is, this is honestly one of the most exciting things that we've had, so I'm, uh, I'm super excited about it. I hope everybody else will be. It's definitely something unique and, uh, and, and different than, that hasn't been seen yet, so. So there it is, the Monsoon Rast, your very first look at it, a Fincasters video exclusive. Thanks to Chris Klein for sharing it with me. And uh, this will be rolled out at MACNA. Of course, if you're watching this video after MACNA, which most of you will be, if you're interested in this fish, you'll need to contact your local fish store and have them get in touch with Chris, and then he'll supply it to your fish store gladly. So thanks to Chris for that. Chris has done some other videos with us, and I'll put a link to that in the description, in the description down below and you can check out some of the other great videos that, that Chris Klein with Carolina Aquatics has done with us. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next FinCast.